everybody, I'm the captain. And I am Dana Speech. And uh, today we are going to talk <laughs> about a little known character from an 80s cartoon series called Thundercats that was a big <laughs> favourite of mine. Uh, there was, Thundercats? Yeah, there was Lion O and Chitera. And the, the character you never saw was, uh, was um, a fox called Vintera. Um, Vintera? Yeah. I've, I've never watched uh, Thundercats. <laughs> anyway, look. Anyway. Um, we were very lucky in that the lovely man Alan Abasi from Fender popped over in uh, uh, late spring, early summer to tell us about this Vintera range. Uh, it stands for kind of like vintage era. Imagine that sort of vintage era. Yeah, and man. there's a whole new range of strats, whole new range of tellies, whole yes. new range of offsets, uh, replacing... Bases. Yeah, bases. Yes, never forget the bass players. Uh, replacing the old classic series. So if, if you've either owned or you've had your eye on a classic 50s, 60s strat or a... Um, uh, one of those sort of cool looking thin lines or deluxe tellies or even some of the uh, nitro lacquer stuff this is ventera is replacing all of that yes so lee what's the difference between the old ones and the new ones the classic well, range on, on and the now old, what's happened yeah so on the old classic series the only real difference between a 50s classic and a 60s classic was the 50s would have a maple board and the 60s would have a rosewood board and some of the colors would be different yes and i think what fender have done is they've sort of dived into this concept of the, you know, making the 50s guitars more era uh, correct, so different neck carves. Tim Shaw's redesigned the pickups to get them more authentic sounding. Yeah, uh, deep diving basically. Yeah, single ply, scratch plate, which is the same as before. Some cool colors, which perhaps have a slight more essence of the 50s. Yes. Um, and the 60s, which I don't have here, 60s. That, is, uh, that will be this one here. So again, you've got the, uh, again, a 60s neck carve, so a thinner Slim, neck carve in the neck. 50s. Yeah. Still got the Power Ferro board on the 60s. Yeah. Um, 60s specific pickups. Visually even, you can kind of see they've got the beveled pole pieces on the 50s and the uh, flat pole pieces on the 60s. Yeah, exactly. Kind of it's period correct. Detailed. Probably not going to make any difference to the sound. Um, oh, maybe it does, who knows? Three ply uh, scratch plate on the 60s. Yeah. Again, different colors on the this 60s. This is a good color. Yeah. They got the burgundy misters, I really they, like. They're using a slightly darker tint on the necks now to make them look a bit sort of aged. I think they used, what he was saying in the video was that they used a little bit too dark of a tint on the old ones. And now they dialed it back a bit to get it more correct. Oh, in I the thought it was the other way around, but you no, might be right. Easy. Well, you can go back um, and have a look because it will. was quite dark. Seventies uh, um, strats again. Uh, there you've got now on these models. You've got the larger headstock bullet truss rod, <gasps> machine heads change, three three uh, three bolt neck join. Yes, uh, and again seventies kind of vibe pickups i've even got a little bit yeah. of iron filing here that's stuck to my magnet just to prove they really are magnets <laughs> oh look i can't get rid of it now ah, got there it. it is um and i've each of the 50s and the 60s they've done it modified like they did on the telecaster if you watch yeah. the telecaster video so with the s1 switching system and some that's right so we'll, we'll get into that so just to do the first quick bit we're going to start in the 50s 1954, to be precise, was when this guitar hit the market. Boom. Um, no looking back, really, for Fender since then. It's become you know, the, probably the most iconic electric guitar of all time. It is um, massive. There is a choice, isn't there, on the yes, there is. basic 50s of solid colours made of older. older yeah. Or a trans colour, like in other words, where you can see the uh, grain through it, made of ash. Yeah. So it's like that Mary Kay kind of vibe, isn't it, from the 50s. Exactly. Uh, but... Is there any difference? That's well, you, you know, again, there's a, there's a, you know, color makes a huge difference. Some, some people know. say that the, you know, that what you make the guitar from makes a difference to the tone, <laughs> but you know, let's all agree that they just look nice in ash. Um, it does. So look cool. give us, give us some yeah, tones so on some that tones. guitar. It's completely, you know, three pickups, five way selector switch, tone and volume and tone, tone, volume, tone, 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 and uh, six strings. Six. Uh, six strings. God, and six that, tuner then. pegs up there <laughs> and a G chord. That's pretty massive, what isn't it? Is not to like. It's just got that strap on the two pickups here. Classic strap. It's so classic There's, sounds it's just great a, yeah middle pickup with nobody which nobody uses uh, which is wrong because it's a great pickup yeah. it's 
punchy, man. I don't think it's a single guitar tone famous for being that middle pickup, is there? I mean, it's not a bad sound. I'm just saying, it's all about the blend, isn't it? Is it? The, well, I'm trying to think of a single. I'm trying to think of a guitar player that's like, oh yeah. He's, he, always, oh, he's the middle pickup the guy. The guy who just has the sickness of pickup uh, strap. Richie Blackmore didn't even have He just took it out. <laughs> he didn't even like it. Anyway. Anyway, bridge and middle. Probably your. Oh no, that was the 60s. Uh, and bridge pickup. And let's just have Buddy some, Holly, yeah. play a bit of Peggy Sue. Can't play Peggy Sue. It's only E, A and D. Peggy Sue. I can't play Peggy E Sue. or A. Let's put some Dane on there. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Slamming. Great, sounds it? great. So uh, yeah, not, we'll, um, it sounds like a strap. We'll get some better. colors. I thought it sounded better. We'll get some colors on screen now, so you can see all the different colors of the strats. We forgot to tell you in the Telecaster video that all the Ventura series come with nice gig bags as well. Well, then it's and, a surprise. Isn't it? uh, it's a nice surprise. <laughs> and wherever you see these stickered things like that, that's because tremolo arms go in there, but we haven't stuck them on. I was going to say, well done to Alberto in the factory because uh, on the little swing tags it tells you who did the setup <laughs> and all of Alberto's ones not only had great setups they were actually in tune out the box yeah. all the way from Mexico yeah. so fair That's play Alberto You're, you deserve a pay rise now pass me the, the, the blue one over there you might have been familiar in the old classic range of this concept of classic player which was uh, the basic sort of bones of uh, a 50s or a 60s strat, but where they'd let some of the custom shop builders loose on doing modifications. So what we've got now on this 50s modified strat yes. is a thinner <laughs> neck calf with a satin finish on the back of the neck to give it a slightly sort of more contemporary feel. Yes. Um, and different pickups. So we've got the sort of the custom uh, master builder kind of pickups in here. And we've got S1 switching, which I'll tell you about in a minute, and a different trem system. So you can see we've got this trem system that just uh, normally it's got six levers on, yeah, yeah two, two posts rather than one, um, which you like. You know what? You should play this because otherwise I? it's a different amplifier, and then yes, that's correct. It'll all sound different anyway. Okay, so here we go. Well. Still five. <laughs> I love the way you had to count that. <laughs> as if it was going to be any other you number. Because you know when you, you know, start, you go one, two, three, four. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so neck definitely feels feels much, much slimmer. Yeah. Almost flat, I feel. I like that. Like a uh, modern C. Yes, it is a modern C. Uh, very, not rolled as much as I would think. This was I don't think they're really caster. rolling these at all, are they? No. We're talking about the edges of the fretboards here. Yes, so no. You have to do that yourself edges. through years of playing. Yeah, back and forth, up and down. So here's, uh, here's an A chord for change. And see, that's when you get the two pole, two, do you call it post. pole? Post, two post. Two pole, post, uh, tremolo to give you that. It's a bit smooth, more floaty. Smooth, floaty trim. Uh, and 
position four. <laughs> They sound a little louder, those pickups, just a little bit. Yes, maybe. I think they were slightly hotter, these pickups as well. Hot, hot. <laughs> these two. Yeah. Bridge. I'm just looking up here, Lee, and uh, seeing that these look like they're locking. You are. You've, uh, you've spotted a feature that I forgot. Yes, I think the land. Yeah, the they time are, forgot. So they are. Uh, what are they called? They're called vintage, vintage locking. locking knots. Vintage locking tuners. Vintage locking tuners. So S1 switching. Yeah. It just brings in the neck pickup. Yeah. I'm not sure actually on the on these guitars if it's the same S1 switching circuit as you get on the American stuff. I think I think it's the yeah, same think kind it's just, of it's the same, place where yeah, the, they the just, switch is. They call it the S1 switch basically. So if I'm here and I'll bring in that, I'll bring that in as well. So you've got, so you've got bridge and, and neck on that Yeah, position. exactly. Yeah. And the same here. All three. Yeah, exactly. And also it's the modern wiring thing. So when you are on, yeah. the, bridge, on the bridge pickup, which can be slightly pokey, you can just roll off the tone to get a bit of you can sort of roll it off and you're it's like a quacky it's feeling really quacky, it's quite quacky it? There you go. Loads that's of the, So that, that's the concept of the 50s and the 50s modified. It feels nice. Jump forward <laughs> 10 years into the 60s. So 60s was um, important for Fender for a couple of reasons. One is you started to see uh, the Rosewood board option. In all fairness, that came bang in the 50s, like 59, but whatever, it's more known as a sort of a 60s feature. The guitars are generally known for having a slimmer neck. Yeah. The tone of the pickups changed a little bit. I would say they got less bright, a little bit warmer sounding. Um, yeah. And you got some, again, different colors and things like that, but not a whole lot of differences between you know a 50s and a 60s strap. So, strap. so 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 <laughs> pete has now got the uh, well sorry within the the ventera range you've, you've got this concept again of a standard 60s strap okay. which is the one i'm holding and again you've got lots of different colors or you've got this idea of a modified 60s strap with a slightly yes. sort of more modern twist to it yes so do you want to so sort of, if you do the playing again on that one, or do you want me to do the playing? You play now, you play now, right. you play. <laughs> so here we go, uh, 60s Strat now into a clean amplifier neck pickup. <laughs> Same kind of idea, really, much more funky. Middle pick up on its own. Might, I might just I like become it. that guy. I might be the middle pickup guy. I like just pioneer it. it. I like it. Uh, be the guy. Middle and bridge. Uh, and the bridge pickup. Despite what we may have said earlier in this yes, video. I said. Um, the all of these guitars have got the modern uh, tone wiring so the uh, bridge pickup which traditionally wouldn't have a, a tone control 
does in fact have a jazz mode. Jazz mode. <laughs> that's uh, not jazz. That's not jazz. It's uh, a good try though. It's a good try. So uh, with a little bit of gain, again, if you want to, I do love this. I think it's sounding. <laughs> Bridge in jazz mode. Not so good. Octave. You need to play octave then. <laughs> um, and then, now that's this is a. As I said this is a slim C feeling guitar, so much more like a modern American Strat would feel. And if you're into sort of you know your regular feeling Strats, that's the kind of neck you want to go for. The mm. uh, modified version of this um, has a little bit like the '50s one, a satin finish on the back of the neck. It's still pretty slim, um, so I wouldn't have said. Actually, it does feel marginally slimmer again than the '60s, but but not but not a lot. Uh, again, the, the sort of the custom pickups, the two post trem system, and this S1 kind of switch. So if we just have a little bit of a it's definitely hear hotter. hotter pickups, uh, the locking yes. vintage tuners. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> They're a lot hotter, hotter yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think why it probably sounds more like that on my amp, I've got my amp dialed much closer to breaking up. Your amp, I think, has got a lot more headroom in it. So Correct. just that small difference in, in yes. the pickup output is pushing mine. I like it. Some gain. different colors in these i'm not sure what we've shown you on screen so far but here are some uh, 60s standard strats followed by some 60s modified strats um mm. i think my favorite one so far of them all is actually probably that one to play but hey let's not leave the 70s out pete okay so the 70s <laughs> uh, they describe this on the website as, as calling it an early 70s c Okay. Now, I've heard the 70s neck profile described as, a, as D or U before, and I think what they're trying to get is that the very edges, that first probably half a centimetre or so of the fretboard, Slightly is a flatter. little flatter yeah. before it goes into the carve yes. of the C. I can so, feel that. So it doesn't really end up necessarily being any thicker to feel, but it just feels different. If I was trying to really put it in relative terms, I think you'd have the 50s as the fattest, the 70s is the next one, and the 60s is the thinnest. It almost, yeah, it almost feels like it's it's wider because of the yeah because it goes more like yeah. that before it curves off. But of course, so uh, things I, I suspect that are much more iconic about the 70s instruments is you had the large headstock, which again was a late 60s thing, but became prominent in the 70s, uh, instantly recognisable as the kind of headstock shape that Hendrix would have had on his strats. The uh, neck join is different now so it's a three bolt design rather than a four bolt and design. you got the little micro tilt as well yeah uh the machine heads are different again just the Square. vintage 70s style yep. uh i said not available as a modified one so only as the six bolt trim system there's no sense of s1 switching or anything like that uh but they're all in these lovely i think they're all in these lovely translucent finishes. yes yeah, one is completely blonde i think um no but that's we'll see those on screen now all the colors will come up on screen but they, they sound great so if you want to give us some tones sounds great Man, 
these two bits together. Ah, oh, that's definitely different, isn't it? That's I had a 74 strat and did you? It, yes, I did. In natural, just all taken off. Yeah. It's so heavy. Who, who's, who was it that? I think it might be Robin Trower or someone that again who reckons that the, the, the bigger headstock because it's more wood sounds better. Well, I can't remember who I'm it was. I'm not going to say but, anything. Hey, but there we are. We, but this we, sounds great, man. But it's much more. Ho it's much more hollow. Much more ho ho. You know what I mean? Yeah. Middle. That's really weird, isn't it? It's, it's very, very different. That sounds like the lowest output of the three. That's much lower. Let's see what it does with a bit of gain on it. Before Pete and I, we'll jam out on these two guitars just uh, because we haven't really heard the tones of them as much yet. Uh, but yeah, in a nutshell, Ventura range, think it's kind of like classic era sort of quality, uh, but just with more refined and specific sort of specification to the era that it's trying to sort of copy. Specific, specific specifications. Specific, speci specific, Say that. specific specification. Say that really fast. Prices are from 729 to 829, depending they on are. if you get a 50s, 60s, 70s, or the uh, 50s modified and 60s modified, a little bit more. Prices are of course below. Yes, prices can change as well, so always head over to the Anderson's website for an up-to-date price. <laughs> uh, anyway, yes. I've been the captain. And I've been Danny's Pete. <laughs> Spin Danny's Pete. It's hot in here. It's getting it, hot it's in here. It's so hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Nah. <laughs> See you later. See you later.